here's my scope it's a uh, sitting on a Omni XLT series CG4 uh, by Celestron at least Celestron's names on it it's made in China I got a Celestron scope here too this is the C6 oh, it's the SPC6 but it's not on a super Polaris mount or 150 millimeter diameter mirror it's a 750 millimeter focal length uh, it's got this really cool slide focuser here uh, this actually moves the whole secondary mirror you can see here that it moves the mirror in and out that's a vitamin bottle cap and my dog had uh, pills from the vet and I think snaps on really well it's got this like plastic piece on the inside and you can you know no just like it's made for it this one snaps on really well too I have my polar alignment going on and I'm roughly on target with Polaris I got a right ascension and deck motors I also have this thing by Z field uh, that's an Arduino Nano sitting on a stepper motor board this right here is a Orion guide scope this is a Philips webcam I found on eBay for 20 bucks oh man look how far off it is so with pretty poor but at least ballpark in the uh, polar alignment and I didn't calibrate on a star that's on the uh, equator like it I think it tells me to do that. I just picked a star that's a lot further north. Um, you can see it's making some pretty major adjustments here to the declination and the right ascension. Let's load up the camera software. And... I'm going to go ahead and shoot some darks at 30 seconds. I'm going to shoot five of them. And then I'll, I'll subtract the darks uh, from the live preview. Okay, so my 30 second exposures are done for my darks. PhD freaked out for a while. Uh, it said it lost... Um, pulsing to my controller uh, I unplugged the controller and uh, restarted the software and it freaked out when I took the cap on and off but it seems to be doing okay now it's making an awful lot of corrections uh, I think if I had better polar alignment it would just be doing the right ascension not so much this back and forth on the uh, north and south <clears throat> anyway, let's go back to the Mead software. I have it set up here to just a random part of the sky, 30 second shots. And these are my lights. Uh, I got the infrared filter on there. I wasn't going to save TIFFs, I was going to save FITS. Okay. Um, I'm going to subtract those darks that I took. And I got long exposures, 30 seconds. So now it's going to take a 30 second shot and then uh, combine them down here. So let's go ahead and start that up. Let's go see what PhD is doing here. Making corrections. 
Where's my guide star I got? This is only like the second time I've auto guided with PhD2. So I'm sure I'm not doing something as good as I should be. So if you have any hints or tips for me, then uh, please let me know. You can uh, find me on Twitter at astronomy underscore rocks. And I also got a website, astronomy.rocks. And uh, of course, you can leave comments in this YouTube video. <clears throat> So it's done two images, it's working on its third, you can see it's a little bit cleaner now that I'm subtracting those darks that it combined. Here comes a third image. I went ahead and stacked that one for us too. Um, when it fails this minimum quality here, your image count won't go up, but the second still continue to count. And it'll still save the uncombined image. It just won't stack it or count it as a stack. So here comes another one in. I guess it's still doing its evaluation counts. PhD2 is still doing its thing, still on that star, still making corrections. It's not complaining very much right now, but it seems to be doing an awful lot of work. I can hear the steady tick of just the normal RA motor going to but every once in a while I'll go prrrr. And go uh, real fast. Let's go look at my deep sky stacker or my software right here. It's got 10 images, so that's five minutes of exposures, 300 seconds. It's about to do another one. Oh, it just did 11, 11 images stacked, and you know. I got some decent looking stuff going on. Okay. It's uh, almost 11.30. This software is stacked 25 images. About to do another one. I still don't see much star trailing. The software is not very good at uh, aligning. It'll just stack picture on top of picture. So you'll see these stars trail. Uh, since I'm saving all the uncombined images, then a deep sky stacker will stack them all together. So this PhD2 and this Z-Field Arduino project is doing really well. My stars are looking around on this, on this screen. This guy isn't very big or, or moved much. So I'm really happy at my 30 seconds. Now, um, oh, PhD2 just aired. <clears throat> now with just the Celestron uh, hand controller that came with the motors, um, just running the right ascension motor, these stars would not only trail, they would, uh, Every few exposures, this, this star right here would move up and around and then go back to where it started. And I would get two or three images of the star right there. And then it would move like this and come back. So I was dumping quite a bit of my exposures. But it, it looks like with this uh, setup I got that I'm going to keep the majority of at least 28 of them. 